How's it going, everybody? My name is Infamous Isaac, and if I sound a little weird, that's because I'm actually recording this on my laptop instead of where I usually do it on my PlayStation 5 because I use Share Factory there. I wanted to give this a try because I have the facilities to edit a video on here. I just haven't done it yet, right? And so I thought, why not? Why not give it a try and see how it turns out? And the reason why you see Morgan Le Fay on the screen is because I've been addicted to FGO because they had a crazy story update recently, right? And this story update has been long awaited since they have the JP and then the NA versions. And so I've just been playing, reading, just super invested in all that. And I, hopefully I want to make a video on that soon. Hopefully on the laptop if this goes well. But regardless, that's why there won't be like a movie update or an anime or manga or anything like that or gameplays for a little bit because I've just been doing this. and It just has me absorbed literally so much vested interest right now. But regardless, the topic that I'm going to be discussing today is about music, right? And more specifically, it's about songs, songs that are just stuck in your head and you love them, and you keep going back to them, and it's just crazy. And some of them can be like songs that you found recently. Some of them are songs that are released like probably like 10 years ago. They don't have to be new. They don't have to be old. They're just songs that you just keep going back to, right? And I wanted to talk about three of them that just I keep going back to and like the stories behind them and stuff like that because music is a form of expression at the end of the day, and finding that music, whether it's curated or you actively try to find new songs, right? It's always a story behind the artist and then the listener and how that song can impact a, a listener, right? So this song is Kenny Mason's Avatar, right? And I listened to this song when it came back out in March. And ever since then, it's just been my in my rotation for the longest time. And I don't listen to it as much now because I kind of over, overplayed it. But it still has a place in the rotation, and it's just so fire. It's hard-hitting. It gives me so much energy, and it's just a vibe, right? And with Kenny Mason, his songs are so different from each other, each project. It's not like he has a stylistic change. It's just that he has really good range, right? So you have a song like Avatar, where it's super hype. You just feel like him. And not like, like him as the artist, but like you literally feel like Timothy, bro. And then in other songs, you have like Dirty or Angels Calling or his new songs that came out where they can be dark and gritty and stuff like that. They just all have different vibes to them. And while you can group them together into some categories, like some are sadder, deeper cuts or some are darker, grittier, like eviler songs or others are hype where he brings the energy. Like Stick is one of them, for example. He just has the range for it and i'm always excited to listen to new stuff from him because he's just proven to me that he only gets better with his projects and with this song i can always just have it be a mood booster for me and i love that so the next song is absol's gotta rap and this is off of his 2022 album herbert and this song just came around at the right place at the right time when i was listening to the album right so I was down on my luck. I just wasn't really feeling good. Things weren't going right for me. I was really stressed out, all this stuff, just trying to set the setting during this time period, right? And I didn't have the time to listen to music, so this one kind of fell into backlog. But when I was able to, I gave it a listen, and it just clicked. It just hit perfectly. And that's because this whole album just, it resonated with me. I could understand the emotion I was going into it, and I loved it. It really just resonated with me that's the best way that i can put it and so after going through that journey that was like because this album's pretty long so after going through that journey and hearing the final track when that first note hits and you hear the production it just clicked with me because the producer for this track is dj premier right and he usually was like papoose and people like that and so hearing his production which is you is pretty recognizable <laughs> so hearing it it was just like man what the heck and then hearing the way that absol was attacking the track it was just like bro what is he about to do and then after hearing the four minute slaughter that was this amazing track i was just like oh my god gosh because this is the last track of the album and so hearing that after hearing tracks like do better and the intro track where it's just it's kind of somber it's sadder it's picking yourself back up from a huge defeat type stuff hearing this is such a return to form just basically feeling like 
I'm back on top. I'm not going to let myself slip ever again. And I'm going to keep on winning because I am him. And I'm the one that's built for this, you know? And it just felt so good. Like, the way I wrote it in my notes was basically, this feels like a superhero coming back after losing and beating the, the villain handedly. Basically just securing that win for his people and protecting the people that he cares about after the huge loss and growing from it, you know? That's what this track feels to me like. This song, I have to say it again, just came in at the right place at the right time. It really helped me bounce back and give me that energy and motivation and just kind of resolve and inspiration to really just start moving forward and tackling what I need to do with the best version of me that I can present, right? And so this track is more than just like a really good song that I really enjoy listening to but an inspirational one that left an impact on me that I'll definitely be coming back to years later because it's that good. So the next track is Metro Boobman's Am I Dreaming Off of the Across the Spider-Verse soundtrack. And this track, I cannot lie, is amazing. I love this track so much. <laughs> the Metro Boobin's production is godly. Roy C and ASAP Rocky's verses are amazing. Just all of it comes together to make a heavenly angelic track right and there's one thing i wanted to mention so bad it's metro boobin's tag right his producer tag the metro which is just young thug right where it's put where it's placed in this song is literally euphoria bro there are certain things in life that just get you and that feel great in the soul and his producer tag is one of them <laughs> it is so amazing so I am going to go into a little bit of uh, Across the Spider-Verse spoilers. So I'm going to put up uh, a text box that shows when to, to skip to if you don't want to hear the spoilers if you haven't watched the movie. And I really hope that you do this because if you haven't watched it, do not listen to what I'm about to say. You have been warned. So this song is the credit song for the movie. And you have to remember if you have watched it when this plays. So... After, you know, Miles is sent to that other dimension and Gwen is in his dimension and Gwen gathers all the people and you just see Miles get captured by Uncle Aaron and then you see that universe's Miles confront him and you just have all this crazy tension and drama and explanations that need to be explained. It's just like all of this to have Gwen show up with all the people that want to help Miles and then cut to the to be continued and then this song and it just all comes together so well the fact that this movie comes before this song which obviously it has to right because it's the credit song but what this movie has and the story that it's telling throughout the whole thing and just experiencing that two hour and 20 minute masterpiece to have this song, which is also a masterpiece, come together and make this unique, euphoric experience in a movie theater is just like, oh my gosh, I sound like a nerd, bro. I sound like a crazy nerd, but I love it because this song and this movie is so good. <laughs> so it all just comes together to make this amazing experience that is this song. And again, Metro Boomin's tagging the song, bro. Oh my gosh. But regardless, all these songs are basically just meant to be Songs that I've been listening to, not songs that I can go back to and can always listen to, because that's a different category. Songs like that, I would say something like Sing About Me, I'm Dying a Thirst will fit that category, where you just feel something so profound and so deep. Granted, God of Rap also counts for that for me, but that's a unique situation. But songs that you can just always go back to is a whole different thing that I want to make its own separate video for because I have a bunch of different songs that can constitute and be added to that list. So that's a whole different thing. But these songs, like I said in the beginning, are just basically, hey, you listen to these songs, they're earworms, and they just stuck in your head, and they're awesome because they're good songs, right? And that's all that it's really about. Basically, for now, I just wanted to share with you guys three songs that have been in my head on repeat for a good while. Some of them are falling out of rotation. The last one is recently put into rotation, so that's definitely going to be one of the cuts that I come back to a lot. And let me know down below any songs that you have been listening to. I could give them, give, give them a listen and see what I think about them. And they don't have to be rap cuts. They could be any song that you want. It's just that I chose three rap cuts because that's the genre that I listen to the most. But let me know what you all think, right? And I'm sorry about the, the mic. 
I need to get a, uh, an actual microphone instead of just using my headset. So hopefully that'll prove in the future. And also, since this is my first time editing a video on my laptop, it's going to be a little scuffed. So bear with me. But I had a lot of fun doing this and I hope that I'm able to do it again with more practice and with more experience. I'll be able to get better at it. So, you know, just give me a chance, right? But thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoy and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.